Neil, for, for your boys' leads at, at Ipswich, yeah. not it, helped. It, it didn't start off uh, badly. I mean, I've never done, never been to Ipswich and dominated the game so long. We dominated it for 30 minutes. We must have had about six or seven that chances. That didn't help you, did it? And then the sending off is, you know, it's just not like Tom, really. What's he, he doing just, there? Well, he's just had a... Had a I think a, the ball was bouncing on there, wasn't it? The ball yeah, was bouncing. Yeah, but he's, he's nowhere ball. near the ball. I mean, it asked, we all said red straight away as soon as he did it. Sure and, uh, and it you know, didn't help us then. Because, we, we, like I say, I've never never dominated a game as much as that. I think we had 19 shots. Even with 10 men, we dominated large parts of it. But it's all about taking your chances. Two of our best chances, one were cleared off their line with Michael Brown, the other hit Luke Varney on the back. And that's when you talk about a little bit of luck, you know, going for you. Uh, we'd have nothing in front of goal yesterday. No, no way, you know, any luck at all. Where does this leave your season? Well, it's, it's, it's not far from over, isn't it? You know, you, you mathematically we talk about that, but uh, I think we all knew we needed to win a, most of our games in the run-up. You know, we've got a game tomorrow, a tough game tomorrow against Derby, but it'll be a good turnout tomorrow. I think, that, you know, the fans, the fans who came down to Ipswich, irrespective of, you know, people like yourselves who just saw the result and think what a bashing that we took, uh, the, the players were fantastic yesterday, and that sounds silly when you've lost 3-0. But the, the football we played and, and the, 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 the commitment that they put in to score, you know, 19 efforts on goal mm. with 10 men, it took some doing that yesterday, so I can't fault any of them. Well, you know what I thought when I saw that result? You're right, I didn't see the, all the game. I saw that result and I thought, will I be seeing Neil on Sunday? Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, every, <laughs> that's the same, isn't it? Every, you know, every manager's under the same sort of pressure. And in my situation as well, you, everyone knows that I've said if you know if I'm not going to get promotion that I won't you know I won't be in next season. I think well, that was only said until the end of the season. Well, that, that's I think that's really up to you know. Uh, I think the you know I speak to the new the new owners quite a lot and uh, we talk about the situation. You know they've got to be looking around. I'm not you know I'm not daft. I know they've they've they've, they've you know put a few names. Uh, you know what they're thinking about doing, but. It's, it's, it's difficult because in their situation they've got to get the right man, I think, and uh, some of the right men might not be in a job at the moment. So if you change it just for the sake of changing it, you know, when, you know, if you're going to put, you know, they put Neil Redford in charge last time, didn't they, as a caretaker and Gwyn Williams with him. So whether you do something like that, if, that, if that's the case, or, the, you know, I don't think anybody could get any more out of the players that are there at the moment. So I think they've got to, the main thing is to make sure they get the right one because he's, We've done so much in the club over the last 12 months. The foundation's there now, the, the group of players, you know, we, we've all needed, ev everybody in the club knows that we've needed two or three players, but they're going to cost a well, bit of money. Well, a word on that. How much influence have you had in terms of transfer dealings? Have you had any say in player sales and have you been able to bring in? The players that, that you wanted to bring in this year? Well, I think with the new owners, we were all glad to get new owners. You know, they, they, they dragged on a long time, and GFH came in, and we, you know, we got on really well. But they want to, what they want to do is they don't want to rush into anything. They wanted to come and have a look at what we've got. It's all right, me, because it didn't happen well in the middle of December, sort of thing. And uh, you know, I was hoping we could come and do this, that, and the other straight away. But I can understand their point of view. They're coming in, Did and they, they make want you any promises when you came in about players. Well, you, you I mean, I, th I thought we, we've always been looking for a couple of players with pace, you know, up front, and uh, we managed to get Jerome Thomas, and they were very instrumental in that. We got him just before Christmas uh, when they came in, and we set off on a, had a really, uh, probably our best run of the season then. But when Jer when he went back, uh, on Jerome Thomas, unfortunately, unfortunately, we you know we ha we haven't been able to bring anybody in permanently. Although we had, we did try. Not? Have th have they not got any? Any money? Have they got cash? Well, I, th I think you've seen this week. That they, you know, they've, they've sold ten percent of the club, and I think they'll be using. They'll be looking to do some more of that to, to get the investment that's needed, that, because they are aware that we need two or three players, and you know they've got to generate the cash for that. And uh, I think you know, uh, it, you know that that will happen uh, with the next manager, unfortunately for me. But it's it's something that you know they are aware of the needs for these players, and th they will they will support the next manager. I'm sure. It, it, you're not going to be the Leeds United manager for much longer. You've said that. Will this now be your last job in management? Uh, well, you never, you don't, you, you never say never, do you? You know, I think, uh, you know, I'd, I think there's a, a role somewhere between the manager and the directors. A lot of directors and even GFH you know, don't really know a lot about football, if I'm honest. You know, so if you look at the the, the gap between the board and, and and the manager, there's a there's a gap there. So I wouldn't mind sort of involving myself in something like that. He said he was that. retiring when I was at Sheffield United. <laughs> I know, I know. He said he, when I was at Sheffield United, he said I'm retiring after this season. He'll be back in the job. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, perhaps upstairs, we'll see. Uh, Interesting stuff anyway. Uh, still to come.